What's happening, y'all? Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a great week. Um, today, we are going to do a 40-ish um, minute kind of cardio sculpt and abs. So you'll need um, whatever weights you have. I'll tell you what I have, but um, if you have other things or if you just want to go body weight, then that's fine too. Um, and then we'll end with some core work. And um, my name is Janet Harrett, and I am excited to be with you all this morning. I am a personal trainer and group fitness instructor. So as we start to get going, um, you can hit play on your favorite playlist. Um, you are your DJ today for your workout, so if you like music, go ahead and pop up that favorite playlist that you like to work out to, and you can just um, hit play and listen, and we are going to get started. So we got a warm up. We wanna make sure that we're nice and loose, and let me hit play on here so I can keep the time going. All right, so as we kind of get set up with our warm up, we've got, I've got several different types of weights. So I've got five pounds, I've got 10 pounds, and I've also got a 20 pound kettlebell over here. Like I said, um, whatever weights you have, we can work with it. So really what this is, is we've got a kind of heavier strength set to start us off with. Then we've got a cardio strength, so we'll go lighter, a little bit less resistance, or just body weight, and then we will end with abs. So, everybody just take a big deep breath, stand up, and exhale all that tension out, and from here, we're gonna go 30 seconds, just starting with a jog. So we're gonna go into kind of like a pyramid ladder set for our warm up. We've got 30 seconds of every move. Right now, we're starting out with a jog. We're gonna hit some skaters coming up. So we're gonna find that side to side movement. All right, we got about 10 seconds to go. All right, from here we're gonna go skaters in three, two, and one. So you can just start to step side to side. You can tap or you can find that jump if you're ready for it. And you wanna have a nice soft landing side to side. Seat that leg back. So, we've got our legs coming back behind us. We're gonna bring it in front of us coming up. So I want you to make sure that you know the difference. In five, we're going jumping jacks. In three, two, and one. Let's jack it out. All right, y'all know the drill by now. Shoulders down, arms loose. If you wanna tap it out, you can tap it out. Or you can add that jump. Heart rate's starting to come up, so start to find that breathing pattern. Think about a good inhale, exhale. Make sure that chest is open. And from here, we're gonna go into side to sides. So in three, two, one, you're gonna step side and you're gonna bring that knee forward. So like I said in the skater, it goes back. This one, you're going forward. So just a nice side to side motion here. Nice soft landing. Start to engage that core by driving that knee up. In 10, we got jump ropes. And then we're starting all the way over. And we go 20 seconds of each. In three, two, and one. Let's jump rope here. So low impact, you can keep those, let, or those feet on the floor and just lift through those heels. Give your calves a good little burn or you can add a little bit of air in between. Now, starting over with that jog. 20 seconds of each. Let's see if we can add some intensity now that our body's moving. In five, in three, two, and one. Let's jog it out, try to add a little bit more. Get those heels back. These go fast, we go in 10 with skaters. In five, three, two, skate it out. Let's go side to side. All right, maybe you step side to side that first round. Maybe you're ready to add a little bit of a jump, a little bit more explosive movement. And 10, we're going to those jumping jacks. In five, get ready for it. Three, two, and one, jack it out. We got those side taps, or those side to side jumps rather, coming up. 10 more seconds here. Can you get a little bit more 
into that jumping jack. You maybe go a little faster. Maybe swing those arms a little bit more overhead. In three, two, side to side hops. Let's take it over. Over, remember, bring that leg forward instead of back. Engage those abs. Explode from that leg once you hit that floor. Nice agility training for our warm up here. Woo, in three, two, jump rope. And let's finish it out. All right, we got one more round. 10 seconds of each. It goes by fast. Let's see if we can get that heart rate up even more as we prep for that straight set. In five, three, two, run it out right here. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. We're almost done with this warm up. Finish it out. In three, two, skaters. Let's take it over. Really try and widen that jump. Really try and get from one side to the other. Quick response. So land and sink and explode. In three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Let's go. Ooh, I'm already breathing, y'all. In five, side to side hops. Two and one. Let's take it over. Same thing with that skater. See if you can get really wide in that jump. Sink and explode. Draw that knee forward. Woo! Jump rope in three, two, and one. Last thing. Ten seconds. And we are into our first set. In three, two, and one. Woo! All right. I'm moving. I don't know if you are. I'm breathing heavy. Here's what we've got. So we've got a compound movement, which means lower body, upper body. Then we separate it out with just lower body. You'll see why, because we're gonna go upper body in that cardio sculpt segment coming up for that second circuit, okay? So grab your heavier weights if you have them. If you just have lighter weights, that is totally fine too. If you wanna go body weight, you can just go through the upper body movement as well as the lower body movement. All right, so we got bicep curl to a squat press. So we got 30 seconds of each. It's gonna move pretty quickly. And the first round, I'll show you what's coming up. We'll get a little 10 second break in between the second set since we know what's happening. We will go right into it. All right, y'all, who is ready? So grab that bicep curl, squat to press, we've got legs nice and wide. You can slightly turn those toes out. So here's the movement. You're going to squat, curl, press overhead. Come back down to that squat, curl, and press overhead. All right. Y'all ready? We're going in 10 seconds. Okay, here we go in five. In three, two, one. So you're going to squat down. We're going to curl, press overhead, squat, extend and curl and press. Really use your momentum and energy from those legs to shoot those arms up overhead. We're here for 30 seconds. We're halfway there and up. We're gonna go straight into squats from here. So in five, let's go last one here. Come on down and we're just gonna squat and press it up. All right, so just lower body here. From the side, my spine is staying straight and my tailbone is going back. Weight is right in between the balls of those feet and those heels. We got 10 more seconds and then I'll show you the next move. In five, three, two, let's go one more squat and rest. All right, drop one weight. So we're going to go reverse lunge, arm is going to stay straight, you're going to swing it up and you're going to go wide press out so that elbow goes out, back up, rotate that wrist and we swing. Now the same arm that is swinging, that leg's going to go back. So you're going to go reverse lunge, swing, press wide, back up, reverse lunge, swing, press wide and up. All right, we're gonna go in 10. Go on one side, and then we're gonna go into just reverse lunges. In three, two, and one. So step back, swing it up, 
Line press, back up. Lunge, swing it up. Wide press, back up. Good. Swing, wide press from the front. Here's what's happening. Swing, wide press. All right, 10 seconds. Up, wide press. And we're going to go one more here. And from here, let's go into those reverse lunges. I'm going to grab two weights here, adding a little extra. Just alternate that reverse lunge. Nice and controlled. Make sure that that knee stays over that ankle in the front and those shoulders stay stacked right on top of those hips. So instead of leaning forward, you're staying straight up. We got about 15 more seconds here. And then we head into our last movement and we start all the way over. In two, last one here and one, rest, okay. So, sorry, I'm dropping weights like we don't need them. Keep those weights here. We've got a deadlift with an upright row. So from this side, I'm gonna pretty much just press my hips back with my weight so I get the movement. All right, so see how my hips go back, my spine stays straight. I've got a little bend in those knees, but I'm not squatting down, okay? So I'm not locked, but I'm also not squatting. So it's just a nice soft knee. You're gonna take it down, and when you lift up, you're gonna row it up, weights into that chest, elbows out in line with those shoulders. All right, we're going in five, in three, two, and one. I'll start from the front, and then pull, and then I'll switch to the side. Bend over and pull from the side. Soft knees, tailbone back, spine straight, and pull. So you're lifting from those hamstrings and those glutes. And up. Good. And lift. And we got five seconds here. And we're just going to go into those deadlifts. Last one, 30 seconds into that deadlift. So you're going to lower down and lift it up. Those weights are just gonna follow that gravity down towards the floor. So those arms are loose. Lift from those hamstrings and those glutes. We got 15 seconds, y'all. And lift. So we're gonna go through this all one more time. We know what's coming. We got the squats, the lunges, and the deadlifts. Let's go one more here. And come on up, all right. Give yourselves about 30 seconds. And we're gonna go right into that curl and press with that squat. So grab water if you need to. And roll those shoulders out. Maybe give them a little shake. And here we come. All right, in 20 seconds. I'm gonna grab some water real quick. If you wanna grab some water, you can. All right, in 10, let's grab that weight. Get ready for it. Starting at the bottom of the move, we curl and press. In five, legs a little bit wider than hip width, sink it down, and let's go. So we curl, press, back to that squat, and extend those arms. Curl, press, back down, extend. So you want to get nice and low into those legs. Make sure that tailbone is over those heels and not forward. Ooh. All right, back into those squats in five. Let's go one more here. And just the squats. Let's take it down and lift. Down and lift. Nice work. Round two burns a little bit more, but that's okay. We've got this, y'all. 15 more seconds. And we're in to that opposite arm, opposite leg, reverse lunge and swing. So I did my right. I'm going to switch it over my left. And one more. Drop one weight. Reverse lunge and swing. So we're going to step back. Swing it overhead. Wide press. Back up. Turning towards y'all. Press. Wide. Press. Reverse lunge. So if you've ever done kettlebell training, that swing is very much like a kettlebell swing. So it engages that core. It uses that shoulder to lift, but you're also engaging that shoulder blade in the back. 
All right, let's go one more. Just the reverse lunges after this and press. Grab that extra weight if you need more resistance. Alternating reverse lunge, let's take it back and back. 30 seconds here, we're into that row, that deadlift with that upright row. All right, how's everybody doing? Y'all breathing a little bit? So, heart rate's up a little bit, but we're trying to tap into those muscles and get that strength going. So it might not be super high, but just wait for that cardio sculpt coming up. It'll be fun, I promise. Let's go. One more each side. And last one. Awesome job, deadlift. Facing the side so you see the movement. Reach down, row it up as you lift. Down and pull. Really engage those shoulders, that upper back. Pull, try and keep that spine straight. Think about belly button into that spine as that tailbone pops back. Good. Let's go two more. Just the row, or just the, the deadlifts. I wanna stay in the rows. Just the deadlifts, okay. Let's go up and lift. So taking that row out of it, hamstrings and glutes right here. So we've hit squats, we've hit lunges, we've hit deadlifts. Lots of leg muscles that we just got into. All right, y'all, we got 10 seconds. Then we switch into that cardio sculpt. I know we're all excited about getting that heart rate up, getting a little sweaty. Let's go one more. And done, and roll those shoulders back. All right, switching gears. I'm gonna go to my light weights here. So we got 45 seconds of each. They're gonna go through nice and consecutive. So I'll lead you into it, 45 seconds. You'll have about a five second transition to figure out what's going on. And then second time around, you'll know what's happening, okay? All right, so we've got light weights. We're gonna do scissors and a front press, and then we drop those weights and go into just a cardio move, okay? All right, roll it back, scissors and front press. So that front press, elbows are in at the front in line with those shoulders. Scissors, you're just kind of running side to side like a Nordic track, okay? Here we go. Y'all ready? We're gonna go in about 15 seconds. That way we're at the top and I can see our time. After that, we got Heisman. So you're gonna one, two, three. One, two, three. Those are the first moves. Here we go in five, in three, two, and one. So we're gonna press and scissor. So like I said, we're getting into that upper body now. Heart rate's gonna start coming up, but those shoulders are gonna be screaming at you. All right, 15 seconds down, 30 to go. How are we doing? Are we starting to breathe yet? We're almost there. We got 20 more seconds. So good, y'all. Hang in there with me in 10. One, two, three, Heismans. In five. In three, two, and one. Quickly set those weights down out of the way. Shuffles, side to side, knee. Side to side, knee. Shuffle, shuffle, knee. Shuffle, shuffle, knee. 45 seconds here. Use those abs to draw that knee up. Whew, I'm out of breath. How about y'all? Keep going. If you can get a little bit harder into that move, try and get the intensity going. 15 seconds, and we are in two jumping jacks with a chest and lat squeeze. So, in five, in three, two, and one. Pick up those weights. Elbows 90 degrees out in front. You're gonna jump out, in, out, in. Perfect. Now those weights get to be too much. You can drop them. You can just go into the movement. Working our chest and back here. Squeezing in and out. From the side, I'm just squeezing in and out, really squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back, using that chest to draw that elbow back to the center. Oh my, this one's tough. 
But we got 15 seconds. We can do it. Y'all are awesome. In five. We're going to drop those weights. In three, two, skaters. Let's take it over. Skate. Skate. Drop those weights. Make sure that you don't trip over them. Make sure they're out of the way. And skate. Nice. Whew. We're going to pick those weights up again in the next one. We got 30 seconds here. Can you get a little wider? Can you maybe sink a little deeper into that stabilizing leg? Really get that heart rate up. The more intensity you have, the more that heart rate goes up, the more you breathe. 10 seconds. Jump rope. Pulling a bicep curl. That's right. Biceps coming up in three, and two, and one. Grab those weights. Jump rope, 90 degrees. Little circles with those arms, like you would be jumping a rope. So from this side, my shoulders are staying locked at 90. I'm gonna stop the jump so you can see that tiny little circle. All right, keep it going. Again, low impact, just stay on the balls of those feet. For a little bit more, add some air. Oh, how are those biceps feeling? Kind of burning. Nice, we got about 10 more seconds. From the side again, we're going here. All right, we're coming up with high knees. Here we go. In three, two, one. Drop them. High knees. Start that run. Now, option here, you can march, low impact, or drive it up and run it. Really try and get those knees up to those hip bones. Another way to take it up level, hold those arms out. Ooh, there's that core working. Or you can go here and do those knees from the side. I'm upright. I'm not leaning back. I'm not leaning forward. I'm straight up. So whatever way works for you. Let's get it done. 10 more seconds. All right, so we got butt burners with rows in three, two, one. Grab those weights. Okay, so it's kind of like you're gonna be alternating that run with those arms and you draw that leg in. So we're staying pretty solid on that front leg, tapping it back, drawing that knee forward, alternate that punch down. Breathe, breathe, working that back and those triceps. All right, we got one more thing and then we start it over again. Now make note of that leg that's standing in front. Mine is my right. I'm going left on the second set. Come on, y'all. Five seconds. Same leg. In three, two, one. Track starts. So you're gonna come down, lift it up. Down, lift. Option here, add a jump. So you wanna be in that track start position. Notice my back leg and my spine follow each other. So everything follows that back leg. So I lean forward, kick it back, and then come nice and straight up. Oh man, there's that glute. There's that hamstring. It's yelling at me. How about you? 10 seconds. Hang on to it in five. We got this, guys. Last one right here. And rest. One minute. That was awesome. How are you feeling? Are you breathing like me? Man, that got us. Okay, don't stop moving. Shake it out. We go through that one more time, starting with scissors and front press. So maybe the first time you tried it with those weights, maybe second time around, you need to drop the weights and go with body weight, okay? Tune in to how you're feeling, how your shoulders are feeling, how your muscles are. If you are totally fatigued and burned out, just go with body weight, okay? But if you can push yourself, if you can get yourself out of that comfort zone on round two, stick with the weights. We got 10 seconds. Scissors and shoulder presses to the front. Here we go, in three, and two, and one. So, after this round, we're 
going down into those abs. It's gonna feel so good. You still have a little cardio into those abs with some mountain climbers and plank jacks, but we're gonna alternate between cardio moves and just kind of static, typical ab and core moves. Really press those weights up. Try and get a good extension through those arms. The more your arms move with those legs, the higher the heart rate. 10 seconds. We got skaters in five. In three, two, one. Drop those weights out of the way. Skate it. Side to side. All right, so I'm going to go kind of sideways so I have a little bit more room. Really try and get out of that comfort zone, like I said. Make yourself stronger. Make yourself work for it. Stabilize on that leg and explode right off to the other side. We got 15 seconds. You can even try and sink into that standing leg. Go a little bit more of a posterior chain reaction. Hamstrings and glutes. In five, in three, two, jumping jacks with that chest opener. Let's go. Out, in, out, in. Woo! This one might be one where you have to drop those weights. Might get a little heavy. Try and keep those elbows in line with those shoulders. Goal post arms. So good, y'all. All right. Coming into the last 15 on these. These are brutal. But we get to check them off our list after this. So finish strong. Give me five. In three and two and one. Come on down. We've got Heisman's. Here we go. We're going to go one, two, three. One, two, me. Shuffle, shuffle, me. Shuffle, shuffle, me. Really getting over one side. Fast feet and that high knee pause. Shoulders are up. And I'm breathing. Oh, man. Y'all are doing awesome at home. Keep working hard for it. I'm sweating along with you. 10 seconds. Jump rope and bicep curls. Oh my. In five. Let's do it in three. In two. And one. Pick up those weights. 90 degree angle. Palms are open. Jump. And tiny little circles. So that 90 degree angle really fires up that bicep. It's basically an isometric hold while we jump. Take a few seconds to breathe. Inhale, exhale. We haven't had many of those in this circuit. All right, how are those arms starting to feel? Biceps, are they yelling at you? We've got 10. All right, in five, in three, two, and one, high knees. Here we go. Drawing those knees up. Remember, you can march, low impact, or drive those knees. Remember the also, those little challenges if you're feeling feisty today, arms out or arms overhead. Whatever it is, just keep on doing those high knees. However, you keep that heart rate up. That's what I want. I want you moving. I don't want you feeling good and strong. And 10, we got those punches, opposite leg butt burner. In five, we're almost there. In three, two, and one. Weights in the hands, front leg, back, draw that elbow, and punch. Oh, sorry, I got my arms mixed up. So that elbow and that knee draws together. And then you keep punching. Stay low on that front leg. That's gonna give that leg muscle a good burnout here. But that punch, that upper body movement, is gonna keep that heart rate elevated. You're working the shoulder blades into the upper back, 
those lats, everything. 10 seconds, <clears throat> track starts are coming up. Give me five, Whew. three, and two, and one, and rest. Track starts, here we go. Take it down, lift that knee, down, lift. Now you can go down, make sure that back follows that back leg. You can stay up high, or you can come down. You can even add that jump. If you want a little bit explosiveness in your move, a little bit of plyo, it's gonna keep that heart rate boosted. Whoo! All right, coming in. The last 20. We've got this, guys. One minute rest, and abs are on the way. Here we go. Coming into the last five. Let's see if we get two more in. We can, last one here, and rest. Oh man, one minute, and we're down to the core. All right, so, we're gonna go elbow to knee crunches. So while you're grabbing water, while you're resetting, let me tell you what we got. Okay, so elbow to knee crunches, and then, we're gonna go on our back. Knees are gonna be up. You can tap those heels. And you're just gonna double crunch your way through 30 seconds. All right, and 10. We're gonna go through it. We got two times through. And then we flip over to mountain climbers. Let's lay it down in three, two, double crunches. Let's go in and out. When those knees come up, try and get that low back pressed into the mat. So when those shoulder blades come up, you should feel your low back press into the floor. If that crunch with those legs is too much, you can always just go with that upper body crunch. All right, we're almost there. Keep rolling, I'm gonna switch. We got five seconds. All right, finish it up in three, two, switch it over, mountain climbers. You can start with a march or you can run it. Make sure that those shoulders are right over those wrists and that spine is straight, abs are zipped in, and those hips are low. Drive those knees into that chest. We've got 10 more seconds. All right, we're gonna come up on this one in three, in two, and one. Come on up to a standing position. Take it out nice and wide. Right leg is gonna go down to a side lunge. You're gonna pop that leg up for a leg lift. So you're gonna go down, leg lift. Down, leg lift, okay? Here we go, in three, in two, and one. So side lunge, pop it up. Really drive through the side of that foot so your toes should be pointed towards the front. Getting into those obliques and those hips. On that side lunge, make sure those hips go back over those heels and you're bending right at that waistline. All right, y'all. We got five more, five more seconds rather. Let's go one more here. And come on down, down to that plank for plank jacks. Set yourself up. You can tap it out or you can jump in three, two, and one, let's do it. If you're on your knees, that is no problem. Just tap side to side right there. Make sure shoulders are back over those wrists. Realign yourself, spine is straight. 10 more seconds. Here we go, in five, in three, in two, and one. All right, drop to those knees and roll on to your left hip. Forearm is going to be down on the floor, so you're kind of laying down, slight bend in that hip. I don't know if you can really see, but you're on your left side. Left forearm down, cross that right leg over that left. You're going to bring that elbow back by putting your hand back behind your head. Watch what we do. We lift, tap right elbow to right knee, 
and then come back down. So it's kind of like a V-set, a variation, but we're on our side, so you're kind of balancing right on the side of that glute. And you're just bringing it up. This is really good for obliques. Ooh. This is a new move that I found. Maybe it's not new to you. Maybe you've done this before. But I saw it and really liked it. And so I'm going to start incorporating it in some classes. If y'all come to my bar class at Pivotal on Friday, you'll see it here. Let's go one more. And back to the beginning, y'all. All right, roll it over. Crunches, option to lift those knees as well. Let's take it down. Hands behind those heads. Last time through and we're stretching. Let's lift and lift. So I'm crunching right now. Here's the option to do that double crunch. Try to keep that chin lifted versus digging it into that chest. So you don't want to curl into that chest. You want to keep your gaze at the ceiling and really activate that core by lifting from that chest and those abs. Woo. All right, y'all, we got maybe two more here. Rolling it over to mountain climbers. Last one, and come on down. Quickly transition over to that mountain climber. Let's go in three, two, 30 seconds, mountain climbers. So again, you can march, you don't have to run, but you have that option to keep that heart rate somewhat elevated while still using that core. Try and get those knees into that chest. 10 seconds here, and then we go left side leg lifts with that side lunge. So we're back up in five, in three, two, and one. Back up, be careful getting back up. Take your time, side leg lift to the left, raising it here. In two, and one, so you're going down and kick. Down and kick. So from the side, my tailbone is back, Spine stays straight again. That belly button is in to that spine. And lift. So you're pushing off from those glutes. And then you're lifting that leg, obliques and hips. Lots of good core muscles happening in this one. And lift. Let's go three more. And two. And one. And come on up. All right. Back down. Plank jacks. In five, get down on your knees or those toes. In three, two, tap it side to side or jump it. Let's go, we got two more moves left. This one, and then those brutal side leg lift crunches. I don't really know what to call them, but they're awesome. It's one of those moves where when you do it, you know you're doing something. 10 seconds here, y'all in the final 30 seconds of our workout coming up. And we stretch in five, in three, two, and one. Woo. All right, come on to that right side of your hip. Forearm on the ground, cross left over right. Draw that elbow up by putting that hand back and let's crunch it. So we lift and lower, lift and lower. So you're just trying to crunch that knee up to that elbow. Woo, an option for a modification, sorry I didn't do this on the first one, would be just lift that one leg. All right, y'all, let's see if we can get five more in. All right, here's three more. Two more, we've got it, finish it out. Last one, and relax. Woo, we did it, y'all. So awesome. How's everybody feeling? All right, we're coming up on 40 minutes. I said it was 40 minutes, and we're gonna do it. So, let's stand up, quick little stretch. Feel free to continue to cool it down after we're done. But let's take those legs nice and wide. Lift up overhead. Push those hips back, reach forward, and forward, fold to the ground. All right, from here, 
sink into that right leg. So bend that right knee, sink into that right leg. Extend through the side of that thigh on the left. And come on up, other side. And come on up. From here, heel toe, those feet right in line with those hips. Forward fold, twisting through your spine. Left arm down on the mat. Reach up and twist with your right. Look up to the ceiling. Ooh, that feels good in that low back and that spine. Come on down. Other side, right goes down, left is gonna lift, twist, look up. And come on down. Now soften those knees, slowly come on up, roll those shoulders up, let's get those quads. So if you've got something to hang on to, you can grab that ankle, send that heel back into those glutes, draw that knee down, lift up through that chest. And from here, Let's get to that figure four. So same leg is gonna cross forward over that thigh, sink back, hips low, that knee comes out so you get a good extension through the side of those hips and those glutes. Come on up and let's go to the other side. Quad stretch, grab that ankle, heel comes in, draw that knee down to the floor. Lift up through your chest. And cross that ankle over the knee in the front. Knee comes out to the side and draw that tailbone back like you're sitting in a chair. And come on up. A little bit of a chest opener. Take those arms back. Open up that chest. Squeeze those shoulder blades from the side. Here's what we're doing. And relax. Draw those arms forward. Separate those shoulder blades. Round out that spine. Pull that belly button into that chest. Now, draw those hips forward, lift up overhead, reach over to the right, reach over to the left, big inhale, exhale as you drop it down, and fantastic job, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for doing the workout with me. Always feel like you can comment, give feedback, anything is welcome because you all are what makes me a better instructor. You all give me everything I need to know how to improve and give you what you want, so... I'm always open to chat, so always know that. Feel free to continue to warm down. I know that was a quick stretch. And I will see you all next week for another workout. Happy Wednesday, y'all.